Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is gonna be a, another boat restoration video similar to the bass dumpster. So it's just gonna be kind of a, a will it run. Uh, story with this one is there was a flood that washed this up on somebody's property. It's been here for several months. Nobody's claimed it. Uh, there's been attempts and the county's supposed to come out and get it at some point, but they haven't. Uh, so it's got a, uh, you know, OMC out drive on it. And it, seems in half decent shape so we're gonna see if we can get it running and if it still has any life left in it um, this has got the 3.0 four banger the motor mounts are good look at that that's not ripping out aluminum tank and I'll just give you a nice tour of the interior no key um, so clearly it's been sitting for a very long time before the flood because look at uh, these this tree's growing in it into the carpet and everything. And got some broken glass. Uh, the floors are somewhat solid, I'm sure. And the stringers are probably super minty. So let's get this thing out of here. Unfortunately, my winch is currently inoperable ever since I sank this truck in the river. I haven't finished putting the components back in there. Uh, but this ground seems pretty dry, so let's try and pull pull this out. They don't care about the grass. I guess we should have expected that on the freight. That sucks. I have a kinetic rope at home that I haven't even used yet, but you know what? We'll use the winch cable. Why not, right? Yeah, this is a good way to rip the winch off the truck probably, but let's give it a go. I got a little reckless there and bent this beautiful frame. Nothing that can't get buffed out though. That's why a kinetic rope would have been much better. Uh, and well, I shouldn't have been grabbing on the end of that either, but. I need some more equipment. Oh yes, the bass dumpster. This over here is what I needed. This Q KQ. I actually just got this. I was meaning to do a video of it. I should have went back got it to begin with but this has like 30 percent stretch and would have done a much better job and i probably wouldn't have bent that uh, frame a little bit of a sinking problem
How about the trailer lights? Oh, we can look at that. We got a marker and a right side tail light. That is awesome. Tear it up too bad. I tell you, I looked out my backyard the next day at this thing and I was like, what did you do? <laughs> but, I mean, it's, this is horrible. I brought home basically a piece of trash. So let's, let's find out if there's any life left in her though. pump's not locked up. Easy to get access to everything on this anyway. Um, what a stupid design. You can't even, you can't get anything to rotate the engine on here because the motor mount's in the way. This has been sitting a real long time. That pulley's so rusted. Uh, alternator's not seized though. Well, let's pull the plugs out. Uh, that's not good. This engine's full of water. And look at this, next to the dipstick, you, uh, you pump out the oil here. This goes, this tube goes to the bottom of the pan. Usually, like on jet skis, you just pump the oil out from the dipstick, because of course, you know, you can't use the, a drain plug. Unless you were just dumping it in the bilge, I guess. But, oh, we got Jen over here feeding Leo. Pick him up. <laughs> How cute. you afraid to pick him up? No, I just okay. don't want to bother him. Pick him up for the he's camera. Happy. Bring him up. Like, no, oh, he, he, he like that. <laughs> Leo, you know, there's a lot of people that like you. I think you're pretty cool. Bad day. <laughs> there he goes. What, huh? You just had a bunch of milk, too. All right, back to pumping this thing out. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> Look at this, the fuel fill hose actually dry rotted through. Man, that would be terrible if somebody started filling this boat and went to take it out. Ah, oh, yeah, it's just straight water coming out of it. I got sick of hand pumping it, so I broke out my little pneumatic um, vacuum brake bleeder, drilled a hole in here, and that works better than hand pumping it. But yeah, there's one full jug, and I think that's how many quarts is that? Seven liters. There we go. You can hang out in this boat all you want, dude. Come on in. Make your home in here. Is there anything he's gonna... No, he's fine. Here comes the milkshake. Ah, no, it's a little bit of milk, but still mostly water. All right, we got most of the water 
all the water out now. I'll leave that milk on the bottom so that way there's some lubricating uh, abilities. Lubricating fluids down there. Let's see what these combustion chambers look like. Um, can you see that first cylinder? Pull it to the top with water. <laughs> What do you want, dude? Go back and do squirrel things. Get out of here. He's creeping. You creeping. <laughs> All right, funny. take him back to his home. Get him out of here. <laughs> Even with that motor mount off, there's still nothing to rotate this engine, so I'll just use uh, some oil filter pliers. I'm sure there's some other tool or, or method for rotating these. Oh, it rotates a little bit and then stops. Yeah, I also just broke my tool here. Well, actually, it just jumped a tooth is what it did. Oh, there it goes. All right, got it rotating. Things are looking good. Oh, let's get some lube in there. I'll shoot some croil in the cylinders and funny thing, big thanks to the guy who gave me this. I, I had, I was selling some on the Facebook marketplace like a year ago and, and this guy was like, yeah, hey, watch your channel and stuff. And, um, and he gave me like three, four cans of this and some other l lubricants. So I thought that was really cool, man. And thanks. Thank you for that. So putting it to good use and everything I was pulling out of the dipstick is just milky oil now. So that's got plenty of lubricating properties. Like I was saying before, um, we'll just leave that in there and see if this thing I don't think it's gonna run, but we'll see. Let's get some juice hooked up to it. Instead of putting a battery in, I'll try using this JF Eguo 4000 amp uh, jump starter slash compressor. This thing's been pretty good. So let's, let's give her a go. Oh, I hear, set the bilge pump going, all right. That off. Ooh, big draw on that starter. Nothing. So that starter's locked up too. Try out these other solenoids. That's the trim going, that sounds good. Oh, and that's going the other way. Take a peek inside of this thing. This is a massive starter motor. It's a uh, this has been replaced before, but let's pop her open. Ooh, yeah, this thing's shot. Mm. Get all that water. Uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be better off getting a new one. Yeah, the Bendix still works. seized up um, all right and that's how the brushes look and there's the armature the springs on the brushes are broken so as you can see this needs just a full rebuild all right guys so clearly I'm better off just getting a starter and so the question will the boat run no <laughs> unfortunately it will not run without putting money into it so here's where I'm gonna leave this video if this if this video gets, I'm gonna say 50,000 views in the first seven days, which I highly doubt it will, but if it does and people wanna see a part two, uh, putting the starter in there and trying to get this to crank over and see if she fires or what else, whatever else it needs, well, I'll do that. But uh, so, you know, share it to your friends maybe or something like that. If we get to 50,000 50, views in seven days, I will 
put more time and money, more importantly money, I don't mind putting time into it, but I don't feel like going to, you know, buy a starter just to find out the motor's blown. Uh, we'll do that. The other thing I'm thinking is, yeah, I'll probably just throw this up on Facebook for 500 bucks on Marketplace, see if somebody wants it for parts, because, you know, I saw like these windows on eBay, they sell for like $350 a piece. These are tempered glass. Um, there are still lots of good boat uh, parts here, like like the, the Cobra outdrive here with the trim cylinders, the trim pump, all that. So anyway, it was fun messing around with it, but I don't feel like buying a starter and putting that into it. And I'll leave that tree on there too. So yeah, drop a comment down below, consider sharing it, and maybe we'll see a part two. Maybe not. Any suggestions, let me know. I <laughs> Hopefully you watched, uh, watched it this far. I'm sorry you guys had to see me bend that trailer, pull it out, that super rookie move. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's a wrap. So I'll see you again, hopefully. See you guys. Let's see if these tires still got any life left in them. The valve's down. Clean them up. Reseat the bead. And by life, I meant will they hold air? <laughs> we'll see. I guess I should have gave him a closer look first. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, it'll hold 20 PSI. Can't even see that crack once there's air. Not leaking. Good to go.